space is a very important part of understanding how to be a witch. And there are many different ways in which we can do so. So we use a variety of different types of herbs and incenses that are very good at cleansing the negative energies that are often left in homes and rooms and also too out in public places. So one of the most popular and common methods of cleansing space is with a smudge stick which is made from sage, sometimes to lavender but traditionally with white sage. Now the way to use this is that we light the sage you get it started. Now do be aware that there could be potentially little flickers or watch your carpets or anything that you love and value. So then we'll take a smudging stick. Now a smudging stick can be something quite elaborate. And what we do with the smudging stick is we then waft the smoke and we walk around and use that energy to clean the space. Now that can simply be done with other things that we find out in nature, such as this feather from a tawny frog mouth works beautifully. And also nice small smudging sticks. So you get the idea of how to use this. Now the most important thing too when using one of these is putting it out. You have to know how to put it out safely. So always put it out make sure that all the smoke goes out. It's a good idea to have a small ceramic jar with some sand in for this purpose. So we just make sure that our smudge stick goes out completely because sometimes they can catch you out and keep burning on your altar and could cause a house fire. So it's very important that you're aware of that. So pop that down for now. It may smoke as we go through the demonstration. You can also buy white sage and powdered the leafy form so then we would drop a few pieces of the white sage directly onto charcoal like this and then that would then be encouraged to burn with your fan and create beautiful cleansing energy in your room or your altar or your temple space now another very popular and powerful cleanser is Palo Santo and this is a rather large chunk. If you got something like this you could split it into at least 8 to 10 pieces. Now this once lit gives the most amazing smell and very very powerful cleansing. Uh, one of my very personal favourites. Now if you don't have the means to get a hold of these types of things which are quite easily available in Perth shops. Um, we know that they're stocked at the Blue Buddha. Um, in Perth, so you could obtain them from there, as well as from Celestial Realm in Victoria Park. Um, we can use incense just from your average little shop. Some of the very powerful ones are like sandalwood, myrrh and dragon's blood, and this Palo Santo Joss stick is actually really quite good as well. Now, feathers on their own, particularly crow feathers, are very adept at moving negative energy. We have a lovely crow's wing here, which just on its own is very good at cleansing space as well as just a single crow feather so it doesn't have to be elaborate now with the charcoal blocks there are several very powerful incenses that are used one very common one which is used also by Catholics is Three Kings now Three Kings is a nice mixture of incense and this is a very powerful space cleanser so I'm just going to take some of this off here. Now with the uh, granular incense we have a lit charcoal block and we just place a few granules on top and as that burns we can then send that beautiful energy up into the heavens. It's another very powerful cleansing incense that's often used by witches is dragon's blood. Dragon's blood when it goes onto the charcoal will act a little bit differently to the three kings. It's a resin that once it pops onto there is going to start bubbling and spitting. So you'll probably only just use a very small amount of that. And as you can see, it's going to start to bubble, but it creates a very beautiful smell, a very high vibration and a great cleanser. But one of the most common of all, of course, is frankincense. Now, beautiful quality frankincense will activate a memory in so many people. 
So this is some beautiful Egyptian frankincense. There's going to be a nice mixture of smells here now. So as you can see, the dragon's blood is bubbling away. But frankincense will just have a tendency to sit there until it decides to burn itself out. And as the charcoal block continues to burn, you can use uh, end of an incense stick to flick off the bits you don't want, and you'll get about two hours out of your average charcoal block. So there are some of the very common ways in which we clean space. And as you can see, it can be as cheap or as expensive as you decide to be, or as simple or as elaborate. There is no right way or wrong way. It is your intent and the action that you put into this act. Occult knowledge apocalypse. So what does that mean? It sounds a little spooky, but let's break it down. Apocalypse 